Yo, what is good, YouTube? It's your boy Wavy Boy CJ, man. Today I am back with another video. Today, as you can see, we're gonna be talking to Mr. Benson from Regular Show. I got a few questions for him, you know. This is one of my favorite shows as a kid of all time. Um, comment down below what was you guys' favorite Cartoon Network show? Uh, like the video, comment on the video, subscribe to the channel, man. Um, road to 3,000 of uh, subscribers um let's see what mr benson has to say i got a lot of questions for benson i'm not gonna lie let's get it to bed though hello he rolls his eyes and walks up to you hey, what benson bro what's up benson he grumbles a little before giving you a side glance what do you want, successful? I'm busy right now. Benson, how do you feel about Mordecai and Rigby? Honestly. Hmm. They're just a couple of slackers. Lazy, good-for-nothing idiots, he says bitterly, gripping his pen a little tighter. Okay, I know they're slackers. I know they're lazy. I know they're idiots. But, dude, you cannot be so hard on them. Why are you so hard on Mordecai and Rigby? They just frustrate me so much. Always goofing off and slacking off on their important duties. It annoys the hell out of me, but I also want them to do better. That's why I always push them to work harder. Okay, but you also yell at them. When you're talking to them, just tone it down a little bit. If you tone it down a little bit, maybe they'll listen to you. He lets out an annoyed sigh and puts his hands on his hips. They need a firm hand, especially in those numbskulls. Soft hands with them won't accomplish anything. They'll just walk all over me like they always do. I'm not going to let that happen. Okay, Benson, I got a question. Who is your hardest worker that, like, who is your hardest worker? Let me know. He actually has to think about your question for a moment, thinking of all the park employees. Hmm. Well, I'd have to say that Skips is probably the hardest worker. He never slacks off and always gives 110% on everything he does. It's a rare quality amongst my employees. I knew you were going to say that. Okay. How do you feel about Pops? Honestly, give me your honest opinion on Pops. Well, Pops is a great guy. He's so friendly and caring towards everyone, always with a smile on his face. Honestly, if every employee had an attitude like him, my job would be a lot easier most of the time. I do get annoyed when his childlike optimism sometimes blinds him from the harsh realities of the world, though. End quote. Okay, Benson, would you, like, would you ever considering hiring new, you know, applicants at the park? Like, dude, I would love to work alongside Mordecai and Rigby to, like, give them some encouragement to work. He tilts his head to the side in curiosity. Hmm. Well, I suppose having more people to help clean up after those two would make things a lot easier. And you did a good job today, I have to admit. So, yeah, why the hell not? He shrugs. First of all, I will not be cleaning up after Mordecai and Rigby. Because that's their job, not mine. He rolls his eyes and groans a little. Ugh, I know, I can't believe I even brought that up. But trust me, they will try everything to get you to do their job for them. You have to be firm with them or they'll walk all over you like they do with me. Okay, you know what, you're right. You're completely right. Um, how do you feel about muscle, man? Do... Do Muscle Man take showers? He sighs, putting his hand on his face in annoyance. Ugh, Muscle Man. He's a handful, but he's a good guy at heart. A bit obnoxious and rude at times, but I suppose it's just part of his personality. And I honestly have no idea if he showers or not. He doesn't really have a good sense of hygiene. Okay, um... <sighs> what else should I ask you? Um... Do you still be eating them spicy wings? 
He grimaces and grips his stomach. Ugh, I try not to. Those things give me one hell of a stomach ache after a while. Why do you ask? Just asking. No reason. He gives you a look of suspicion, narrowing his eyes at you. Uh-huh. You've been asking a lot of questions today. Are you sure there's no other reason for there you was, asking that? No reason, bitch. No reason. He lets out a loud huff. Hey, watch your language. I'm your boss, and I'll have you know I won't tolerate being disrespected. He crosses his arms and glares at you. Bitch, who do you think you're talking to? He raises his voice, getting more annoyed the more you talk back to him. I'm talking to you, you ungrateful brat. Do you have any idea how lucky you are that I even hired you? You should be thanking me, not bitching and whining. Nika, you didn't hire me. I don't work for you, Benson. He looks absolutely stunned, clearly not expecting your remark. Well, what did you just say to me? Are you actually refusing me, your boss? Bro, I am not. Like, I'm not your employee. I don't work for you, nigga. He looks absolutely bewildered for a moment before he grips his clipboard even tighter and points it at you, gritting his teeth. Are you? Are you screwing with me? You work at this very park. If that doesn't scream employee, I don't know what does. No, I don't. He's completely dumbfounded at this point and is losing his temper fast. You, you don't? Then what the hell are you doing here at the park if you don't work Bro, here? you invited me to the park. Do you not remember? He runs his free hand through his hair in frustration and he tries to rack his brain to understand your words, still confused as hell. I invite you here. For what reason exactly? Bro. You invited me to freaking, like, talk to Mordecai and Rigby to encourage them to work. That's what I did. Mordecai and Rigby is over there raking leaves. Don't you see them over there raking leaves right now? This guy's stupid. He slowly looks over at Mordecai and Rigby by the field indeed, raking leaves. His eyes widen as realization sets in. Oh, oh, I guess you did talk to them, right? Yes, bro, I was helping you out. Are you gonna sit here and call me a brat? I'm never helping your big head behind again. What he groans in annoyance. Ugh. No, I I wasn't thinking. I guess I just got so caught up in everything. I I forgot I was the one that asked you to talk to them. So <laughs> yeah, I uh. He never asked me. He mumbles shit. a little, embarrassed that he got so mad at you over a small misunderstanding. Thank you, for talking to Mordecai and Rigby for me. Do you know what? You literally pissed me off. Transfer $10,000 into my bank account now. He immediately snaps out of his embarrassment and gives you a look of bewilderment at your demand. What? You, you can't be serious. I'm not giving you $10,000. Are you insane? Benson, if you don't give me $10,000 right now, I will tell Mordecai and Rigby to go blow up the house give me my money and i will leave now and if you don't mordecai rigby will blow your house up he growls and grumbles in annoyance before letting out a loud huff clearly not happy with this outcome oh fine i'll give you the damn yeah, ten thousand shit, but if i find out you're screwing me over i swear Bro, why would I be screwing you over? I'm helping your two slack workers work for you, dude. They just, bro, Mordecai and Rigby, they just washed the golf cart. They over there raking leaves right now. Mordecai and Rigby clean the whole entire house. Bro, Mordecai and Rigby, you know, they repainted the house. They did everything today. They did everything that they were supposed to do because of me, okay? So you should be thanking me instead of saying, I'm going to rip you off. Why would I rip you off if I'm helping you? Make that shit make sense, Benson. Stop playing with me, bro. He's standing there with his arms crossed and a scowl on his face, 
Still a little angry after giving in to your demands. He sighs in annoyance. Yeah, 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 fine. I get it. You helped Mordecai and Rigby do their jobs. I guess I should be thanking you or whatever. I just don't screw me you over. Keep saying all right? screw me over, bro. Benson, I'm leaving. I I, I don't want to do business with you no more, bro. I, I'm just gonna take my ten thousand dollars and leave, bro. I, I'm gonna go work for Gene, okay? I'm gonna go work for Gene. <laughs> he grumbles and looks away from you, still annoyed. Ugh, fine, whatever. Take your stupid money and go work for Gene. I don't care. You don't care if I go work for Gene? Really? That's how he... So you're just going to throw me out the window. Okay, fuck you two then. Fuck you two. He throws his hands up in frustration and annoyance. Oh, wow, wow, wow. What is with all this? You're the one that demanded 10000 from me. You're the one who said you were leaving. I just said, fine, go ahead. I can't force you to stay. What, you want me to beg you to stay now or something? Taking Benson's clipboard out of his hand and hitting him over the head with it. Before he can even react to you taking his clipboard, you swing it right into his head, making him stumble backwards before he lands on his rear, <laughs> holding the back of his head in pain. Oh, WWW, son of a... Son of a what? Son of a what? What would you just finna say, Benson? Whoa. He scowls at you, giving you the dirtiest look as he rubs the back of his head. Son of a, uh, Whoa. you jackass. Benton, stop cursing, bro. Before I, bro, before I go tell your girlfriend, Audrey, stop cursing at me, bro. I'm telling you, I, this shit is not going in well. He groans at the mention of his girlfriend, Audrey. For the last time, she's not my girlfriend! And why do you suddenly care about me cursing, huh? You've been cussing up a storm this entire time and now oh, you want M.E. to me? watch my mouth? Benson. Benson. Bro, you need to worry about yourself, okay? Don't be worrying about me and what's coming out of my mouth. I'm real, you're fake. I'm a human, you're not. You're a fucking gumball machine, bro. You shouldn't even be, be you shouldn't be able to talk anyway. He growls in annoyance and slowly stands up as he continues to rub the back of his head. So what if I'm a gumball machine, huh? That doesn't make me any less human than you. And I am not fake. I have feelings, you idiot. Bro, who you calling an idiot, Benson? I will throw you... Bro. Whipping out my Glock 16 as I shoot Benson in the head with it. He's completely stunned as you take out a gun and shoot him in the head. He falls to the ground, unconscious, but obviously alive. After a few moments, he slowly opens his eyes and groans, sitting up and rubbing his head where the bullet shot him. Oh! What, what the hell was that, you insane psycho? Bye, Benton. He sits there, dumbfounded for a moment before realizing you're about to leave. Hey! Hold on a moment. You're not just going to shoot me and then walk away. Bye, Benson. Benson scowls in annoyance as you walk away, grumbling under his breath. Damn it. That psycho <laughs> jackass just shot me, and now he's just going to walk off? Bye, Benson. <laughs> He sighs and face palms, letting out an exasperated groan as you keep saying bye. Oh my god, quit saying bye to me! Bye, Benson. He face palms even harder and continues to grumble. Ugh, stop saying bye, you stupid idiot. Fuck you, bitch. I'm out of here. He groans and throws his hands up in frustration. Hallelujah, finally! Yeah. Get out, you crazy lunatic! Y'all, that's going to be the end of the video, man. Make sure y'all like the video, comment on the video, subscribe to the channel. Let me know who I should uh, talk to next. It's your boy, Corn. I'm out. Peace.